Have you ever wondered why sleep is so important? It's much more than just feeling refreshed and ready to tackle a new day. Sleep is a critical component of our overall health and well-being. When we're asleep, our bodies aren't just idling away the hours, instead they're hard at work carrying out essential functions that only happen when we're in dreamland. Our bodies repair and rejuvenate themselves, our brains process and store new information, and our immune systems strengthen and protect us. All of these vital tasks occur during those precious hours of slumber. And that's why it's so important to get a good night's sleep. It's not just about avoiding grogginess the next day. Without sufficient sleep, our bodies can't perform these essential functions. The result? We're more susceptible to illness, our cognitive abilities are impaired, and our mental health can suffer. So we see that sleep is not just a luxury, but a necessity for our body. What exactly happens when we sleep? When we drift into slumber, our bodies may be at rest, but our brains are bustling with activity. This activity is divided into two primary stages, rapid eye movement or REM sleep and non-rapid eye movement or non-REM sleep. During non-REM sleep, which is further divided into three stages, our brain waves, heart rate and eye movement slow down while our bodies relax. The third stage, known as N3 or deep sleep, is particularly crucial. This is the time when our bodies grow and repair, our immune systems strengthen and our energy is replenished. If you've ever felt super refreshed after a good night's rest, you can probably thank N3 sleep. On the other hand, REM sleep is when our brain activity picks up. This is the stage where most dreaming occurs. Our eyes dart back and forth, hence the name, and our brain waves mimic the activity seen when we're awake. REM sleep is crucial for memory consolidation and learning. It's like your brain's way of sorting and filing away the information of the day. But how do we know when we're in REM or non-REM sleep? This is where the hypnogram comes in. The hypnogram is a graph that represents the stages of sleep as they cycle throughout the night. It's like a map showing us when we're in light sleep, deep sleep or dream-filled REM sleep. These cycles from non-REM to REM repeat approximately every 90 minutes. A healthy adult typically experiences five to six cycles per night, spending about one quarter of sleep in the REM stage. So why does all this matter? Well, each stage of sleep serves a vital function. Without enough deep sleep, our bodies can't repair themselves properly. Without enough REM sleep, our brains can't process and store memories effectively. Understanding the science behind sleep can help us appreciate its importance even more. It's not just about getting enough hours of sleep, but also about ensuring we cycle through all the necessary stages. Because when it comes to sleep, it's both a matter of quality and quantity. Did you know that sleep can help manage stress and anxiety? Let's delve into a real life example that beautifully illustrates this. Meet Jane, a high powered executive who had been grappling with high stress levels and anxiety for years. Jane's routine was packed with long working hours, late night emails and little to no time for relaxation. This led to a vicious cycle of stress, anxiety, and poor sleep. Jane decided to prioritize her sleep, and what followed was truly transformative. As she began getting a full eight hours of sleep each night, Jane noticed that her stress levels started to decrease. She was more calm, more focused, and more resilient in the face of daily pressures. The anxiety that had been a constant companion seemed to lessen its grip. So what was happening while Jane was lost in the land of dreams? During sleep, our bodies undergo a series of physiological changes that play a key role in stress management. When we enter the deep stages of sleep, our heart rate slows, our blood pressure drops, and our muscles relax. This physiological downtime gives our bodies a chance to recover from the stresses of the day. Moreover, during the rapid eye movement or REM stage of sleep, our brains get busy processing emotions and memories. This process helps us manage our emotional responses to stressful events. Have you ever noticed that after a good night's sleep, your problems often seem less overwhelming? That's your brain doing its nighttime work. But the magic doesn't stop there. Sleep also regulates the production of cortisol, the so-called stress hormone. When we're sleep deprived, cortisol levels can spike, making us feel more stressed and anxious. By ensuring we get enough sleep, we can help keep our cortisol levels in check. In Jane's case, prioritizing sleep helped her break the cycle of stress and anxiety. It gave her body and mind the downtime they needed to recover, reset, and respond more effectively to the challenges of her day. So, remember, if you're feeling stressed or anxious, 
don't underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. Sleep can indeed be a powerful tool in managing stress and anxiety. Sleep isn't just about feeling refreshed. It can also help combat serious health issues. Let's dive into the world of chronic diseases, where sleep plays a surprisingly significant role. Two such conditions that affect millions worldwide are heart disease and diabetes. These are not just health issues that we deal with as we age, but are also tightly linked to our lifestyle choices, including our sleep habits. Sleep is like a health checkup that your body performs on itself every night. During these nightly checkups, the body gets a chance to repair heart and blood vessels. In fact, sleep deficiency is strongly linked to an increased risk of heart disease. It's also associated with high blood pressure, a key risk factor for heart disease. Now, let's shift gears to diabetes. Have you ever wondered about the link between sleep and this condition? Here's the science behind it. Lack of sleep affects the body's insulin sensitivity. Insulin is the hormone that regulates our blood sugar levels. When the body is sleep deprived, it may require more insulin to keep blood sugar levels stable, which can lead to type 2 diabetes. To illustrate the profound impact of sleep, let's consider a real-world case study. Meet John, a 52-year-old man who had been struggling with both heart disease and diabetes. His doctors noted that he was sleeping poorly and suggested he focus on improving his sleep patterns. They introduced him to sleep hygiene practices, which are habits that promote good sleep, like maintaining a regular sleep schedule and creating a restful environment. After several months, John noticed a significant improvement in his health. His blood sugar levels were more stable and his blood pressure had decreased. The key takeaway here is that sleep doesn't just leave us feeling rested. It's a critical factor in managing and preventing chronic diseases. By prioritizing sleep, we can help our bodies function at their best and potentially ward off conditions like heart disease and diabetes. Regular quality sleep can be a strong ally in the fight against chronic diseases. What if you're struggling with sleep? What can you do? Sleep disorders such as insomnia can be tricky to manage. They are often the result of a myriad of factors, some of which are beyond our control. However, understanding these common causes can give us the tools we need to start addressing the issue. Insomnia, for example, can be caused by stress, anxiety, depression, or certain medical conditions. It can also be a side effect of certain medications or even due to lifestyle factors such as irregular sleep schedules or consuming caffeine and alcohol. So, how can we combat these sleep disorders? Firstly, maintaining a regular sleep schedule is crucial. Try to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends. This consistency can help regulate your body's internal clock and could help you fall asleep and stay asleep for the night. Secondly, create a restful environment. This could mean making sure your bedroom is dark, quiet, and at a comfortable temperature. Some people find that using white noise machines, earplugs, or eye masks can also help. Thirdly, consider your lifestyle habits. Limit daytime naps, especially in the afternoon. Avoiding caffeine and alcohol close to bedtime can also help as these substances can disrupt sleep. Regular physical activity can promote better sleep, helping you fall asleep faster and enjoy deeper sleep. Lastly, manage stress. Techniques such as relaxation exercises, meditation, and deep breathing can help you relax and manage stress, leading to better sleep. However, if your sleep disorder persists, it's important to seek medical advice. Your doctor can help identify any underlying issues and provide appropriate treatment. Remember, good sleep isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. It's as important to our bodies as eating, drinking, and breathing, and is crucial for maintaining our mental and physical health. While sleep disorders can be challenging, there are practical steps we can take to improve our sleep. Let's recap what we've learned about the importance of sleep. We dove into the fascinating science behind sleep, discovering how REM and non-REM sleep, including N3 deep sleep, play a crucial role in our daily restoration and rejuvenation. We explored how sleep is a powerful antidote to stress and anxiety, helping us maintain a balanced lifestyle. We examined the compelling link between quality sleep and the management of chronic diseases, such as heart conditions and diabetes. We also saw how prioritizing sleep can significantly reduce the risk of depression and other serious disorders. Our journey also took us through practical strategies for dealing with sleep disorders like insomnia, highlighting the importance of a healthy sleep routine and the need for professional help when necessary. Sleep is a vital pillar of our health, often underestimated and neglected. Remember, good sleep is not a luxury, but a critical component of our health and well-being.